Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we are gonna be talking about one of the best plugins that can help you to improve your productivity. And the plugin is called Pomodoro Timer. And I know you all have heard about Pomodoro Timer somewhere in your life, right? It is one of the most used productivity techniques where you work for a certain period of time and then you take a short break, then you again work for a uh, certain time and then you take short breaks. This way you do not experience burnout and if you are doing what you love, then you will produce really great work. There are a lot of standalone tools and apps that can help you use this technique. If you search for Pomodoro, then you will find plenty. But today I want to share with you a plugin that will help to use Pomodoro technique right inside of Obsidian. And I really love it because it is full of features that will help you improve your productivity and it integrates really well with Obsidian. Now let's install the plugin and let me show you how you can set up the plugin for different things. For that you can just go to Comte plugins and search for Pomodoro timer. And if you go over this option, you can change the set sort order to recently released. And this is the plugin that I'm talking about, which currently has around 4,000 downloads. And these are the previous Pomodoro plugins, which are not updated. And they are not as much feature packed as this plugin, Pomodoro Timer by Eatgrass. Now you'll need to install this. Enable this plugin, go to options. Here we have few options in the plugin setting. The first one here is enable the status bar timer, which means if you enable this, you will have this timer on the status bar, which you can toggle on and toggle off easily, right? You can see the timer running right now. You can toggle off right from here. Now, the second option here is for notification. You can turn on sound notification when the timer is completed. You can also choose custom notification sound or you can choose the system notification. I'll just let it be default. This is my current sound. And here is one feature that I really like that makes this plugin worth it for using in Obsidian. If you are using Obsidian as a task manager, this can be a great addition along with the Pomodoro timer. You don't need to rely on external Pomodoro timer. You can do it inside of Obsidian with the feature of task tracking. So I'll just enable it and show you how it works. Before I enable this, I forgot to show you how to use the Pomodoro timer besides using it from the status bar. I'll just disable the task tracking right now. And here you will have a ribbon icon for Pomodoro timer. If you click on this, a panel will open over here. And here you will have the default timer that is for 25 minutes of work and five minutes of rest. You can change it from here. This option where you can configure the work time. Let's say it's 50 and break time 10. I'll just let it be one and one for this demo purpose. You can also enable the option to auto start on the timer, which means once you start the work session, it will automatically uh, start the next work session as well. Then you have this option to prefer saving to task file. This is for logging, which we'll talk about in the latter part of this video. Then here we have the option to pause and resume this timer, Pomodoro timer. And here is the option to reset the timer. And this one is for task tracking. Let me enable the task tracking feature from here. Now I don't have any tasks in this note, so it's showing nothing, right? But let me, I have created a new note over here and it will show this task. I'll mark it complete and add a new task writing when you open the note with the task all the tasks from the open note will be visible on this pomodoro timer pane and now you can click on this task and when you enable this tracking feature it will start tracking for this task writing and you can see a little text added over here which is added by the pomodoro timer plugin if you move into another node let's say i move to this note untitled note and you can see the tracking disappears from here, right? And the way you prevent it from happening is by pinning this note. For example, this here is the writing task and I can pin this note and the timer will track for this note even when I move into other nodes. 
no matter which node I open, it will always be tracking for this task. Now we have finished the work session of one minute. And the reason why it did not auto start is because we have disabled the option to auto start. If you enable the option to auto start, the break and work timer will start automatically. You don't have to do anything and it will notify you with the notification sound. I'll just enable it from here. I'll just let it run. If I go to the note, you will see here, it is showing one Pomodoro timer. There is another cool feature with this plugin where you can specify the expected Pomodoros and it will be tracking them as well. And you can do this by writing this syntax on the task itself. A tomato emoji followed by two colons. And the first one here is the actual Pomodoro, which will be updated by the plugin itself. And second is the expected Pomodoros that you need in order to complete that session. For example, I will add it over here. I'll write two by 10. Let's say I need 10 sessions to complete this note. Uh, sorry, I need 10 sessions to complete this task. And if I go over here, you will see the progress of the task. Currently only two sessions are completed. Two Pomodoro sessions are completed out of the 10 Pomodoro sessions. So this is what I really like. And if you want to use it in combination with the Obsidian tasks plugin, then you will need to add this plus button and then add those syntaxes, just like it's written over here. When the tasks plugin is enabled, you will need to add this plus button after this expected and actual Pomodoro fields in the task. Another feature we have in this plugin is the logging feature. Go to options and you will see here is the option for log and you can specify the log file. You can select the daily note or you can choose a specific file for logging all the Pomodoro you complete inside Obsidian. I'll choose file for this example and you can choose a log file path. I'll write new note for example which is this note over here and you can choose the log label whether you want to log Pomodoro sessions for all work and break both or whether you want to log only work sessions. I'll choose work only here and here is the log format where you can choose from different options. First one is verbose which is by default. You can choose also simple and you can also choose, you can also create a custom log format with the help of templater. I'll choose the verbose log format for here. This is the note where we are logging our Pomodoro sessions. And here we have logged one session, one work session from 1423 to 1424. And we are currently finishing our break. Now this is all about the three features in uh, this plugin Pomodoro timer. Pomodoro from the status bar, task tracking and task logging. Here you can see the task is logged in a simple format because I chose the simple task format when this task was completed. You can see the difference between those two when this work session is completed in around 15 seconds. Uh, the Pomodoro logging format will be different. You can see it here. This is the simple log format and this is the Barbosi log format. Now the final feature that I want to talk about this plugin Pomodoro timer is the data view integration. It integrates properly with the data view plugin and you will be able to see all of your Pomodoro sessions like this with the help of data view script. If you don't know how to write scripts, then the data view query is in the readme section of this plugin. You can just copy this for log table and let me add it into the new node. If I add it over here and go to preview mode, you will see that it is only displaying one Pomodoro session. Now there are two Pomodoro sessions because it does not track the simple log format. It only tracks from the Barbosi log format. This is a simple table log for all of your Pomodoro sessions. Now there is another data script which will give you a summary of all the Pomodoro. Then there is another data script which will present summary of all Pomodoro sessions categorized by date. This is also in the readme section of this plugin. I just copy this code and add it to the node over here. You can create a different node for these uh, data view scripts to get the log table and summary view. And here is today's date with the Pomodoro sessions done today that are two and the total Pomodoro 
work session minutes is two minutes. So this is the summary of all the Pomodoro sessions and it will categorize by date. I really love how useful this plugin is and how feature rich it is, right? You can do task tracking, you can do logging, you can also do queries for Pomodoros if you choose the verbose log format with the help of database script. It's really cool. I think most of you will find this uh, plugin useful in your workflow. So this is all for this video. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, I have a newsletter where I will send some cool tips and tricks about Obsidian. If you want to subscribe to that, you can do it from the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it valuable. I wish you have a great time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.